and Janelle Cordova. Okay, guys, if you're just tuning in, Senior, we do have Parents Senior Night Senior here for our Carolina Wildcats. Mrs. Floyd just got through announcing the football players, and she's now on the cheerleaders. So we'll let her continue that, and we'll get ready for pregame.
0-1. They fell last week to Natalia, 20-14. to But, Coach, these teams are just working to get better. This is non-district, trying to get better for that district opener. We should have a good matchup tonight. Well, you know, anytime you've got a coach's son that's, you know, on the field and he's the quarterback, that's like having another coach out there. And last year when we played uh, that young man, he, he was like a coach out there. He ran that team exactly the way his, his dad, the head coach, wanted him to run. You know, we've got returners coming back at some skilled positions, a quarterback, you know, Epi Hinojosa running back. You know, and that leadership in the backfield, you know, is, is you know, got us off to a great start against Gregory Portland. You know, speaking of leadership, last week we were without our main chief, uh, Coach Phil Danaher, missing his first game in over 30 years of patrolling the sidelines. I'd like to uh, welcome him back to the sidelines. It's Coach Phil Danaher uh, standing about the 25-yard line. Uh, good to see Coach Danaher back as he'll take the reins back over. Uh, last week, Coach Fowler and, and all the coaches uh, did a fantastic job, Coach Campbell, uh, and uh, willing that team to victory and just did a fantastic job in the absence of Coach Danaher, but a good welcome sign to see Coach Danaher back on the field. Uh, it was good seeing him walk out on that field today, just like, you know, where he's supposed to be. There you go. I'd like to remind everybody you can listen to tonight's game on iHeartRadio along with Cats iRadio. I'd like to welcome our listeners on the World Wide Web. For the folks that are driving in, be safe. You can tune us in right here on 1400 KUNO. We'll be back with more of the pregame show on 1400 KUNO. Amanda, you know, they lost. You sound lot. okay, Sam? Okay. What's that, Coach? Good morning, Wildcats. This is me, Curtis, and I'm here with Tarek Hickman and Cade Wood. And we're talking about big games coming up this week. We got Vets and Miller playing on Thursday. How y'all think that's going to go? Uh, Vets' defense had a big outing last week. I understand Miller's a good spread offense with good receivers, but. I got Vets taking this one. Uh, I'm gonna give it to Miller. They have some great, they have some great receivers that I think can make a mm -hmm. difference. Mm -hmm. And next up, we got Cornerstone and Carthage. Carthage is a big, a big powerhouse school. How do you think that's gonna go? Uh, like you said, Carthage is a big powerhouse school, and I think Carthage is gonna take it. Honestly, Cornerstone had a big loss last week, and I feel like it's just Carthage getting the win. Uh, Cornerstone started off with a uh, L, so I think the Come out fired up and get and get the dub this week. And lastly, we got Cal Allen versus Jardinson. We've been practicing hard for that. How y'all think that's going to go? Uh, Defense-wise, I think we're ready. They came out strong last year, a lot stronger than we expected. But overall, I think we're ready. We put a lot more time preparation this year, and it should be a good game on Friday night. I think offense is going to uh, be strong. Coming off, coming off a big week, uh, I think we'll just stick to the same thing. All right. And you heard it here, folks. That's all from us. Now back to the studio. It's iRadio, uh, Fisher Powell and Cindy Powell keeping you updated tonight on our Twitter feed. Just so many ways to keep up with the game tonight. Share with your family and friends. Uh, I'd like to welcome all our listeners from all around. Norby Almaraz, thanks for tuning in. Norby, send me today let me know that he's tuning in tonight how about margaret and elazar salinas up in san antonio thanks for being with us on a friday night frank Carejo over on the island just so many people that make it possible but these games would not be possible if it wasn't for our sponsors I'd like to thank bill miller's barbecue and big shout out to bill miller's that's where we had dinner tonight great chicken strips just some amazing food bill miller's barbecue right down the street here at five points how about nolan's original poor boys be at nec co-op energy Sharky's Transportation and Mike Shaw Toyota, all proud sponsors of Cal Island Wildcat football. As the uh, Jerdington uh, fan base listens to their alma mater, and what a great, uh, you know, we talked about it last week, Coach. You know, you had the, the fans in the, in the stands. You got your band back. You got your top cats, the cheerleaders. It's, you know, we're back to Friday night football. But, again, we want to remind everybody, be safe out there. You know, we still have a pandemic going on, but it's great to be back in this type of environment. Uh, you know, being able to socialize and get together on a Friday night, that's what Texas high school football is all about. It was, it was very enlightening to have, uh, you know, all those people back in the stands where they can, you know, make, make it a Friday night. You know, they don't have to sit home. They don't have to, you know, sure, it's good. we don't mind them listening to us on the radio, but they don't have to sit down uh -huh. and, and sit at their houses and, you know, just 
Matter of fact, it's a beautiful night. If y'all want to make it out this way, you're going to see a, a heck of a ball game tonight. That's exactly right. And one thing we'd like to remind everybody, you can actually call in on your direct connect phone line. Uh, old Mr. Smith he used to listen to our games every Friday night. He'd bring his headset. Uh, and uh, you can tune us in right there. Also on your uh, direct connect phone line. All you got to do is call in 712-770-4901. Enter the access code 424-132. And you'll be listening to the game live on your uh, landline, on your cell phone, wherever you're at. Uh, just so many ways to listen to the game, and we thank everybody. We get, uh, uh, you know, messages and tweets and used to get emails, you know, where they were listening from. And last week coming back from Portland, we had a, a couple of fans talking to us at the convenience store, just really appreciating the show. And, again, we thank everybody for being with us on a Friday night. We'll do our best to, to call the game to the best of our abilities. We'll be doing it not only tonight but throughout the rest of the season. Again, I'm Mike Guerrero. To my left-hand side is Coach Mark Medina. Our statistician tonight is – the gentleman who's full of information, Coach Mike Brotherton, our videographer tonight, Rich DeLeon, up on the booth, and our producer tonight is Sam Ullenfeld. It takes a whole team to make this uh, show happen, and we have a great team. We are glad to be back. I'd like to thank the staff. We've mentioned it before, uh, Dr. Almandadas and Dr. Danaher for bringing us back and, and asking us to be a part of this program, and we thank you thoroughly for, for listening to us on a Friday night. The Cal Island Wildcats are your home team tonight as they make their way in through their banner. They are to the left of us, coming in with their home uniforms, maroon shirts, maroon pants, white headgear with the traditional Cats logo across the helmet. Jordanton across the field from us, red and white. They are in their traveling uniforms. They have white shirts, white pants, red numerals. Looks like the red headgear, and I'm trying to see if they have a logo or what they have on their helmet, but they're completely on the opposite side of us, Coach. Is I, that I believe it's a... a, a well, it's a, like a Judson-type J on the side okay. of the helmet. There you go, Rich. Uh, Zooming in for us. I tell you what, we got this uh, monitor back in the booth, and you are right. It's got the uh, the J with the uh, the feathers coming off the J. Just a great, great uniform for Jordanton as they make their way onto the field. Across the field from us, they are the visiting team. We are about four minutes away from kickoff. We're going to take another break on the pregame show. You're listening to Cal Island Wildcat football on 1400 KUNO. Matter of fact, their helmets look like uh, Utah. They do. I just thought about that. Got a couple of players out. What is that? One, two, three, four players not dressed out tonight? Mm hmm Who's out for us? 65? Yeah, he's been out for a while. Joaquin Tegel? Tegel, yeah. He's uh, number 12. They, they changed the format so much, so now this is officially game two of the season. Non-district game. Maroon and white in front of us. Cross the field, red and white. As the color guard goes to the 50-yard uh, line, 624 to our right-hand side. The uh, scoreboard is to our left. Again, we mentioned the flags blowing out of the uh, southeast at 15 miles per hour. As the sun starts to set to our right-hand side, the uh, sun is uh, kind of going behind the whole bleachers. The visiting crowd is slightly in the sun, but the crowd, uh, 
the field now is completely shaded. And again, just a beautiful night for football coach. We got it, we got enough wind tonight where it could become a factor. You know, you're gonna have those gusts about you know 17, 18 miles an hour. So it could get a hold of that football tonight. Wildcat Stadium, AstroTurf, kind of that uh, staggered coloring, coach. What would you call that? Kind of a, a darker hunter green and with a green. Uh, so every other what, five yard increments. A little bit of a shading there, but it's also home for the uh, soccer field. They turfed this uh, back in, I want to say, 2009, if I'm correct. Well, it used to be you had to mow it that way to make it look that way, but not anymore with the turf. When it was real grass, if you mowed it, you know, coming towards you, it was darker than if you went away. So I think they're just trying to make it look like it's been freshly mowed. There you go. As the Wildcats make their way onto the field, they come through their banner. Going from left to right, they'll head over to the end zone to our right-hand side. We are just uh, about a minute away from the opening kickoff. We'll have captains. We'll have uh, so much to come. We're going to take one last break. You're listening to Cal Allen Wildcat Football on 1400 KUNO. Okay, we got, can you see the ammo there? See those zoom in. Rich. Delicious 50-cent corn dog from Sonic, America's Drive-In. Oh, I can't wait to devour this thing. Eduardo. Eduardo, isn't this the best corn dog you ever looked at in your life? I think so too. Mm, man, this looks <clears throat> delish. <clears throat> give, give, give me the dog. What? what, what why? Like, give me the dog. <laughs> I'm sorry, Eduardo. You can't have to no. come with me. I want that dog. No. Yes, give me no. the dog. It's, it's no, mine. Give me the. It's give me mine. The dog. I bought it. I bought it legally. No. <laughs> Yeah, give me the dog. No! 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 My dog! Sonic! This is how you Sonic. All right, welcome back to the uh, pregame show as the teams have both made their way to their respective sidelines. We have the captains coming to the middle of the field. We're going to give you the captains for Jordanton first. It'll be number four, Jordan Castillo, the uh, senior linebacker. Number eight, Luke Tapp, senior running back. Number 12, Nick Cordova, senior running back. And number 50, Thomas Natardis, the senior offensive lineman. Captains for Cal Allen coming out number 77, Cole Hobbs. Number 78, Curtis Brooks. Number 41, William Birch. And the quarterback, number 10, Tarek Hickman. Captains make their way into the middle of the field. Referee stands to the left of the team captains. Last week, the Wildcats took the momentum. On the opening drive, Epi Hinojosa started the game. On the first drive with an 82-yard touchdown run, and that kind of set the tone. It took uh, Greg, uh, Gregory Portland all the momentum away from the uh, Gregory Portland Wildcats, and they continued to pound the ball throughout the night. Epi broke that long run, and it became contagious the other night. It was a night of long runs. Point toss has taken place. Referee talks it over. Looks like he's talking to uh, Churnton. They have won the toss. They have deferred to the second half. Referee looks over at Cal Allen. So Cal Allen will turn their backs to the scoreboard. Jordanton again has won the toss. They've deferred to the second half. Cal Allen on our left-hand side has elected to receive. They will receive to the north end zone to our left-hand side. Jordanton will defend the south goal to our right-hand side. like to thank AOC Auto Parts. How about Southwind Public Adjusters? Connie Kohlenberg-Wise over at the uh, Wells Fargo's Advisors. How about Cameron Commercial and Industrial? Baytech and Robinson, LLP. Gulf Coast Graphics, Lithia Chrysler, Dodge Jeep, Ram of Cal Allen, Generator Supercenter of Corpus Christi, Chick-fil-A, and H&S Constructors Incorporated, all proud sponsors of Cal Allen Wildcat football. Coming to you on a Friday night. Wildcats just about to receive the ball to our left-hand side. They're going to send two men 
deep. Number two will be Sonny Carpinello. And number 21 will be Skyler Rubio. Teeing it up on the right-hand side is Jordanton. I'm trying to see. I believe that's number 33, Hayden Harris. Senior kicker for Jordanton. He's uh, teeing it up on the far hash mark. He's right great. side of the field for the uh, Indians. He may need someone to come hold it for him, Coach. Again, yeah. that wind gusting up to about 20 miles per hour. Well, he's going to have that wind to his back kicking off, so he ought to get a pretty good kickoff here tonight. Referee blows a whistle. Harris approaches. Short end over end kick. It's going to be taken at the 20 yard line by number 21. That's uh, Luke Medina going up the uh, far sideline. Medina will be brought down at about the 43 yard line. That's where Cal Allen will have their opening drive. Short kick by Harris. Nice run there. I apologize. That was Skyler Rubio, number 21, taking it up the far sideline. Cal Allen's huddling up on the sideline. They're breaking the huddle. Going to go out to the field, line up. 43-yard line for the Wildcats. Tarek Kickman brings the Wildcats onto the field. He's a quarterback for your Wildcats tonight. In the backfield is an empty set. Hedna Hosa's lined up in the... Uh, Z back spot to our left. Two wide receivers. We're going to hand it off to Hinojosa. Coming across the field. Hinojosa, first run. He's got the 40. Cuts back. 35, 30, 25, 20. Trying to stiff arm a would-be defender. Ippy Hinojosa is going to be brought down inside the five-yard line. First play of the game. And Hinojosa <laughs> takes it about 47 yards on the opening play of the game. I'll tell you what, number, number five for Jordan, Jonathan Castile, did a heck of a job getting over there and knock him out of bounds. And Ahosa with that stiff arm, unable to shed the defender. 52-yard run. 52-yard run to start the game. And Ahosa picking up right where he left off last week. Wildcats now with a two tight end set. Right formation, motion left. And off again. Hinojosa left side. is going to walk it in the end zone. Four-yard touchdown run for Epi Hinojosa. And Hinojosa... Credited for all 57 yards of that drive. Took 22 seconds for the Wildcats to find the end zone. He went to the end zone. On motion left, 35 power. Practically untouched. Number one, Ethan Salinas to do the holding. Jordan King for the extra point. The kick, strong kick. This one through the uprights. 11.38 left in the opening quarter. Cal Allen 7, Jordanton 0. We'll be back on 1400 KUNO. Sonic, America's Drive-In is the fast food restaurant that isn't that far from the school that has the best foods out there. If you need a place to go and eat, go to Sonic, America's Drive-In. It's 57 total. <coughs> William Birch kicking off. They kind of rotated last week, did they not? How much time, Sam? They went quick on this one. I'm going to start talking. Just play your commercial. Birch, high end over end kick. This one taken at the 21-yard line by the uh, Jordanton special teams player. That's number eight for Jordanton, Luke Tapp, also a wide receiver. High end over end kick by number 41, Birch. Short return for the Indians as they bring it out. To the 33-yard uh, line, and that's where the Indians will have their first drive of the game. 11:31 left here in the opening quarter. Cal Allen with a 7-0 lead. 
Phipps left formation. And off to the running back. Going on the uh, right side. Not much room for the uh, running back, Juan Lerma. About a yard on the play. Second down and nine. And Jordan going with the uh, no huddle offense right back to the line of scrimmage. Quarterback Matthew Hicks, number seven. He's a sophomore quarterback. Looks over at the sideline. Gets a call from his coaching staff. Four wide receivers. Motion across the line of scrimmage. Now the uh, trip set. Up on top. Confusion there by the Indians. Now uh, Hicks again looks over to the sideline. Plenty of time on the play clock. Snap on the way. High snap. Hicks looking for the uh, near sideline. Hmm. That pass is going to go over the head of his intended receiver, number six, Clyde Schuhart. Six foot three, 160 pounds. Kind of hard to overthrow the receiver, but Hicks just missing on that one. Got plenty of arm on that throw. Looks like Hicks has a good, strong arm. Third down coming up for the Indians. Fast-paced game so far. Haven't even had a chance to give you the starters. Single wideout split up top. Two receivers to the near side. Hicks dropping back. Steps up in the pocket. Has pressure. His arm is hit as he throws the ball, and it's going to sail out of bounds. Looks like the pressure came in by number 35 of the Wildcats. Coach, I apologize. I don't have a 35 on the roster. Maybe you can help me out. <laughs> I can only, I think, well, I can't be sure. <laughs> I don't want to guess and be wrong. No. We get some help, uh, help from the coaches to our left. Fourth down coming up. Hicks was uh, punting in warm-up, so you might see a quick kick here from the uh, sophomore quarterback, backslash punter. Yeah, he, he's backing up. He's going to be a rugby-style kick. All cats sit one man deep. Right-footed punter, a little low kick. It's going to be returned. Looks like number six, Cade Wood, on the return for the Wildcats. Goes right back the middle. And uh, he's going to bring it out to about the 48-yard line. And Cal Allen, again, with great field position here on their second drive of the game. left side. Hickman has enough for the first down. He'll be pushed and hit out of bounds at about the 37-yard line. Took a hard hit on that far sideline, but a nice pickup by the uh, quarterback, number 10, Hickman. Once again, brought knocked out of bounds by number 5, Jonathan Castillo for the Indians. Give you the front line for the Wildcats. They did a great job last week. Your center is number 77, Cole Hobbs. Your guard, 76, Evan Eden. And number 54 is Reed Balthrop. Your tackles, number 76, Curtis Brooks, and number 66, Daniel Garcia. Number 10 is Tara Kickman. He's your quarterback. 23, Epi Hinojosa is your fullback. A quick dump off to number 21 on the near side. Rubio. Skyler Rubio, short gain on the uh, near side. Little pass in the flat. Picks up about four yards, though. Going to bring up second down and six for the Wildcats. Rubio's brought down by number 35, Christian Alvarado, the left linebacker. Skyler Rubio in the game, number four, Cody Newell. Number one, Ethan Salinas. Trying to get the wide out here to the near side. Shotgun formation, second down and six. Hand off to number two. That's Sonny Carpinello going around the left side. Carpinello has enough room for the first down. He's going to be brought down. Inside the 20, they're going to spot him at about the 17-yard line. Officials stop the clock as they will move the chains for the first down. In the secondary for Jordanton, number two, Lane Bailey. Number one, Ethan Purchase. Number five, Jonathan Castile. And number three, Cooper Schorsch. First down and 10 for the Wildcats inside the red zone. Salinas split wide up top, trip, uh, trips to the near side. 
Shotgun formation for Hickman. Snap on the way. Hand it off to Hinojosa. Hinojosa going right up the middle. He's going to get inside the 15 to about the 14-yard line. About a four-yard gain, three, depending on the spot, three to four yards. We'll bring up a second down. We'll call it a long six. Luke Medina, number 24, comes in, brings a play from the sideline. Eight minutes, 52 seconds in this opening quarter. Wildcats leading 7-0. Second drive of the game for the Wildcats. Uh-oh, may have had some movement up top. False start against the Wildcats. That'll back them up five yards. You know, last week against Gregory Portland, we had a pretty clean game. Not a lot of flags on the field last week. You know, early on in the season, a lot of times you have, you know, that snap count or get that interior alignment with them hands, you know, kind of outreach, you know, holding. So. Right. It's been a good, uh, lots of discipline for these Wildcat players here early on in the season. Second down and 12. Sean Wolf, number 34, comes in at tight end for the Wildcats. Empty backfield. Hickman turns around, Sweet. hands it off to number 24. Luke Medina. Medina lunging forward. Tough couple of yards. Number 42 is Ireland Joseph on the tackle for the uh, Indians. 24. Medina have to, has to come to the sideline to get his shoe put back on. It's tackled by number 40, Joseph Cossetis for the Indians. Third down, we're going to call it about six yards to go. Two down territory for the Wildcats. Hickman, shotgun formation, empty backfield. Sweet. Carpinello, number two, comes across the line of scrimmage. Carpinello lunging forward. He's going to be close to a first down. Lunge forward. They're going to spot him, I believe, at about the three-yard line. So he'll have plenty for the first down. It'll be first down and goal for the Cal Island Wildcats. I'm not sure if he got tripped up or he just <laughs> lost his footing there. Whatever the case, young man went airborne. Picked up several yards as he glided through the air. It was a nice forward roll. Two tight ends set for the Wildcats. Hickman will line up under center. Hinojosa, three yards behind him. A little toss to number 24 coming on the right. Hinojosa gets a big block. Untouched is number 24, Luke Medina. Will take it in from three yards out, and the Wildcats lead 13-0. But, boy, Epi got a nice block on the interior well, there. We, we came out on an unbounced left formation, and they really didn't make an adjustment. So once they got around the edge, there's nobody out there. Good play design. Great football call. Ethan Hinojosa, once again, will hold. King with a kick. High, strong kick. That one through the uprights. Seven minutes and two seconds remaining here in the first quarter. need a new place to find the latest drip whether it be cups hoodies blankets hats or shirts head over to diamond cut graphics there's always service with a smile and the customer is always right this is the studio yeah you see who they have back can't see anymore. 14, he's one of the wide receivers. There he is. We're 11. Oh. 11. 11 and 8. We're going to start talking, Sam. William Birch. High end over end kick. Indians will take it at the 20 yard line. It's Tyler Berg on the return as number 41, Birch, William Birch, with a high end-over-end -end kick. Uh, on the return was the junior return man, number 14, Tyler Berg, brings it to about, what is that, Coach, a 27-yard line. 27. 
for the Indians. He was brought down by number nine, Chase Height. So 657 for the Indians. They trail 7 0. I'm sorry, 14 0. That's the big fullback. Latima on the carry coming on the near side. Lerma brought down by Bryce Burnett, number five. About four yards on the play. Second down and six. Jordanton still going no huddle. Do <coughs> doubles gun right. Now they motion right. Going into trip set. Still gun left. Hicks looks over to the sideline. Latimer stands to his left. Now he'll shift over to the right side. Quads. And off Latimer. Right up the middle. Has some running room. Breaks a tackle. Still on his feet. Latima lunging forward over the 45 to about the 47. Brought down by number six in the secondary, Cade Wood. And brought down by Cade Wood and number 44, Colton Calloway. First down pickup for the Indians. All resting at the 47-yard line. Wildcats with a 14-0 lead over the Indians. Still in the first quarter. Hicks dropping back, looking. He's going to try to go downfield to his wide receiver as a man, and it's caught. His momentum will take him out of bounds. That's number eight, Luke Tapp on the receiving end. Got behind the defender, made a heck of a catch. At about the 15, his momentum carried him out of bounds at the 10-yard line. First down and goal. Lerma, the big fullback, takes it right upfield. He's going to pick up four yards. Grant Taylor, number 55. William Birch, 41, and Callaway, 44, all there to bring down for the Wildcats. Second down and goal for the Indians. Running back, standing to each side of Hicks. Number 11 now shifts over to the left side. Timeout taken by the Wildcats. As they take a timeout, we'll take a quick timeout with them. 4.52 left to go in the first quarter. Cal Allen 14, Indians 0. We'll be back in 30 seconds on 1400 KUNO. He changed numbers. Went from 70 to 35. <laughs> well, in any event, 35's made a couple of tackles. <laughs> He's at nose guard. All right, welcome back. Wildcat defense wanting to take a timeout, wanting to set up. Indians with a second down and goal. Ball resting just outside the six-yard line. 4.52 left to go here in this opening quarter. Indians trying to get on the board. Snap on the way. Hicks trying to hit his wide receiver, cut inside. Miscommunication there. Threw the ball to the outside. Looked like he was going for that back pylon. But uh, a little bit of confusion. Trying to hit his big wide receiver, number six, Clyde Chou uh, Chouchard. So now third down play coming up. That's one of those routes where defender's inside, you run outside. He's outside, you run inside. And quarterback let it go a little bit too early. Ford receiver could make his cut. Indians trying to get the right personnel on the field, doing some substitutions late. Still plenty of time. Number 14 has checked in in the backfield. That's Tyler Bird, stands to the left of Hicks. Bird's usually a receiver. Running back right here. Got him at the running back, trying to go on the uh, right side. Great play by Bryce Burnett, number five. 
Tackled him in the backfield, but is that going to be a penalty against Cal Allen? I believe it is. Mm. Trying to see what the call is. Turn the light off. So it is going to be marked off against the Wildcats. Half the distance. Move it up to about the three-yard line where it'll still remain. Third down and goal for the uh, Indians. They're going to spread them out. They'll go with the uh, trip set. Number eight, Luke Tapp coming into the backfield. He's also a receiver. Two wide receivers to the left. Single wide out, split up top. The running back, Lermer, 22, is at a slot to the left. Hicks dropping back pressure, looking to hit his... Receiver in the flat on the far side. That one drifts out of bounds, incomplete. Intended for number six, Clyde Shushart. So now Coach Andrews facing a uh, fourth down play here early in the game. He's trailing 14-0. I don't see the uh, kicker, number 33, coming in. They may be going for it here on this uh, fourth down play. Being down two touchdowns already. If you hold him, you give the, uh oh, is that a penalty against, uh, now penalty against uh, the Indians? That backs him up to about the eight yard line, but they'll replay the down on third down. Indians looking over to the sideline. Clock stops with 4.38. They're going to have to call timeout. Here. Timeout will be taken by the Indians. That'll give us time to thank some of our sponsors tonight. How about U.S. Ecology, Scott and Mia Taylor, Mike Cotton's Barbecue, Integrity Storage, and Jack Taylor Insurance, Circle 8 Crane Services, LLC, Hicks Family Nissan, Big Joe's Tire and Fireworks, sorry, Big Joe's Tires and Auto, got kind of cross there, <laughs> and Mr. Roy's Fireworks, all proud sponsors <laughs> of Cal Allen Wildcat football. Game two of the season, Northwest Corpus Christi. Thanks for being with us on a Friday night. Wildcats coming in 1-0, Indians 0-1. Coach Campbell and the staff talk it over with the defense. They break their huddle. They go back on the field. I'm sure Jordan's feeling the need to score here. That's why he called the timeout. Third down and goal coming up for the Indians. Driving right to left. 22, Juan Lerma back in the backfield. Shotgun formation. Hicks rolling to his right. Backside pressure. He's going to have to get rid of it. And I think he's going to hit his wide receiver on the far flat. Yeah. He does. Number eight, Luke Tapp on the reception. And boy, did he have some pressure coming on the backside. But he held, held it, waited for his receiver to break on that uh, outside route coach. And he hit him perfectly. Right before the pressure got to him. Well, that's a almost impossible route to cover on the goal line. When you go halfway into the end zone and then you come back towards the goal line, it's hard to cover that. He hit him about a yard deep in the end zone as he was on his way back out of the end zone. 33 to attempt a point after. It's Harris. That's Hayden Harris. Right-footed kicker. Snap on the way. Snap is good. It's blocked. All cats get a piece of it. They're going to try to pick it up. They do. Trying to get some men in front of him. Heading downfield, but he'll be brought down at about the 15-yard line. But the special teams with the block as we uh, have four minutes and 32 seconds in this opening quarter. Cal Allen 14, Jordanton 6. We'll be back on 1400 KUNO. Cade Wood, I believe, was the player who blocked it.
Harris tees it up at the 40. High pooch kick, fair catch by the uh, Wildcats special teams at about the 33-yard line. That's number three, Brody Rogers on the fair catch for the Cal Allen Wildcats. So four minutes and 32 seconds remaining. We are still in the first quarter. Well, now approaching the 8 o'clock hour. Cade Wood, number six, was the Cal Allen Wildcat that blocked that point after. We'll start the drive at the 34-yard line. Epi Hinojosa, Ethan Salinas, Terry Kickman, Rubio, all back in for the Wildcats, along with number four, Cody Newell. Four wide receivers. Hickman looking downfield, steps up in the pocket, scrambles to his left, has a 35-40, eludes a would-be tackler, goes across the sideline, and he'll step out of bounds just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. Nice job by Hickman, feeling the pressure, was able to get away from it, get some positive yards. Good vision by the young man. 62 comes out for Jordanton. And 42, Ireland Joseph comes in. Wildcats again with the spread formation. Four wide receivers. Hickman again on the quarterback keeper. Hickman goes right up the middle, and he'll pick up what seems to be about nine yards on the carry. Hickman Second down and one. Hickman tackled by number 40, Joseph Casares, the defensive end. A slow moving first quarter. Still four minutes left to play in this opening segment of the game. Wildcats driving left to right. This is their third possession of the night. Four wide receivers, twins to each side. Running back Carpinello stands to the right. Hickman fakes it. Now he's going to dump it off to his wide receiver. And it's going to be complete inside the 30 to the 29-yard uh, line. That's Cody Newell on the reception for the Wildcats. It'll be enough to move the chains. And Ahosa will check back in the game in the backfield. Wildcats spread him out. Shotgun formation. Hickman looking downfield. Has a man down the middle looking for number 21. And it's going to be some contact. No flag coming out, though. Number 21 is Skyler Rubio looking for the flag. That one will be incomplete. Bring up a second down and 10 for Cal Allen. Luke Medina, number 24, comes back in. Rubio goes out. Wildcats continue with the uh, spread formation. Empty backfield. Hickman takes a snap. Turns around, hands it off to number 24, Medina, going around the left side. Medina <coughs> lowers his shoulder, and he's going to be close to a first down. He'll pick up nine yards. Looks like he's about a foot short. I don't know whether they're going to give it to him or not. Flag. Mm, Yellow laundry on the field. And that one's going to go against the Wildcats. So it's going to call a holding penalty. So that'll be a spot file. Mm. Looks like the flag is uh, at about the 26, 27. So they're going to bring it all the way back to the 39-yard uh, line. The yard to gain is a 19, so it's going to be a second down and 20 for the Wildcats. Hickman fakes it to the running back, trying to hit his wide receiver and hits oh. him. But the wide receiver, unable to hold on to it, just came off his hands, coach. Mm. Unable to hold on to it. I believe that's number two. Number four, Cody is Newell. That number four? It's all the single digit. But good what? pass from Hickman. Hit him right in the hands. Right in the bread basket. He's unable to bring it in, and that's going to bring up a third down and 20 for the Wildcats. Defensively for Jordanton, defensive line, you got number 40, Joseph Caceres, Marco De Leon, Diego Valdez, and Michael Caceres. Third down play coming up. If you can pick up 
half of what you need, you'll be doing good. 18 options. Option play. Number 23, Hinojosa runs over a would-be tackler. And Hinojosa will take it down to about the 29-28 yard line. So Hinojosa picks up about 11 of the 20 needed. So now you're looking at a fourth down and nine. Good piece of running. Lower the shoulder, deliver below on your way down. Fourth down and nine to go for the Wildcats. Salinas will split wide up top. Single wide out to the near side. I believe that's number 21, Skyler Rubio. Hickman fakes to Hinojosa. Going downfield, looking for his wide receiver. Off the hands. He's, he and caught I it. believe He caught it. That's a touchdown. Number 21, Skyler Rubio, comes up with an amazing catch. It went right off Sean Wolf's hands and into Rubio's arms. Great concentration by number 21. And a 28-yard touchdown pass. From Hickman to Rubio. Point after coming up. King, right-footed kicker. Strong kick. This one through the uprights. Great catch by Rubio on a fourth down play gives the Wildcats a 21 to six lead with 158 remaining here in the first quarter. We'll be back on 1400 KUNO. Of Cal Allen TV. Stop by today for one of their original chicken sandwiches. Chick-fil-A. William Birch teeing it up for the Cal Allen Wildcats. William Birch, number 41, tees it up. High end over end kick. Pleasanton comes up, makes the uh, return. That's number 14. That ball's loose. Tyler Berg, and Berg muffed it from the get go, able to hold on to it. And he's going to bring it out to about the 27-yard line. 151 remaining here in the first quarter. But, Coach, what a catch there by uh, Rubio. The concentration to keep his eye on the ball. I mean, that ball was intended for the uh, opposite receiver who was going right. down. There was two receivers side by side. So there was some miscommunication on the route. Hickman took a shot. And Rubio comes down with it on the... Uh, 28-yard touchdown pass. Yeah, it went right off of Sean Wolf's hands, and Rubio, very opportunistic, just there at the right place at the right time. First down and 10 for the Indians. Ball on the – that's Hicks. Ooh. Looks like a miscommunication on the handoff, and he took a shot. That's quarterback Clyde Shushart, number six, in for Jordanton. I believe, <coughs> believe Hicks is out. You are correct. Lerma in the backfield. Stands along, to his right. Along with Clyde. I'm trying to see if you see Hicks on the sideline. Don't see where maybe he'd be by the coaching staff, but a second down and 12 for the Indians. Doubles, gun left formation. Snap on the way. Lerma. Hand off to Lerma. Lerma going right upfield, breaking tackles. Strong kid is Lerma. Junior running back for the uh, Indians. He's brought down by number 69, Jaden Rodriguez. Picked up about 10 yards in the play. Picked up the two they lost, plus eight more. So third down and two for the Indians. Doubles gun left formation. 
Wildcats trying to come up with a big stop. Under a minute to play here in the opening quarter. Snap on the way. Shushart going downfield, has a man. It's gonna be caught again. Another great reception. That's number eight, Luke Tapp. We've seen a couple of nice catches from the uh, wide receiver, number eight. Number 14, Aiden Culver on defense for the Wildcats. Kind of got turned around. Great job at number eight, Luke Tapp. 18 seconds remaining here in the first quarter. They set the chains, the clock will roll. Looking over to the sideline, under 10 seconds. Trips left, not gun sure, right. Not sure if they're going to get this playoff, Coach. They may let this first quarter come to end, and they will. They will. We've played 12 minutes from Phil Danaher Field. Cal Allen, 21. Jordanton, 6. We'll be back on 1400 KUNO. See if I can find the scoreboard. See if it's better this week. I had it up for a little bit, and now it just says. A place where teachers care for students and encourage them to explore their full potential with confidence and enthusiasm. At Cal Allen, our extracurricular activities frequently compete at the state level. And thanks to our dedicated faculty and staff and our innovative use of technology in the classroom, we rank number one academically in all of South Texas. Just off of Interstate 37 and a short 20-minute drive from downtown Corpus Christi, come join us at Cal Allen, where winning is a tradition. First and ten from the thirty-nine. All right, welcome back as we get ready for the uh, second quarter. Indians driving left to right. First down and ten from the thirty-nine yard line. And off to the uh, running back Latima trying to go around the outside. It's going to be brought down by number five, Bryce Burnett of the Wildcat defense. Burnett's been busy tonight. Give me the uh, front line for the uh, Jordanton Indians. The center is Thomas Natardis. Left guard, Donald Parks. Right guard, Stone Amador. Left tackle, Freddy Martinez. And your right tackle is Tate Yao. Running back, Juan Lerma. Number six has taken over at quarterback for the uh, Indians. Number 33, Hayden Harris, is coming at tight end for Jordanton. Also the kicker. Shotgun formation, quick pass to the uh, near flat. Again, I believe that's number eight, Tate, breaking tackles, sidestepping, and Tate is going to pick up another nice pickup inside the 15-yard line to about the 12-yard uh, line. Tate broke tackle of Aiden Culver. Couldn't hang on. Again, the Indians go on with the uh, no huddle, quick count. Tight, tight end on the left now. Tight trips. Shotgun formation, running back Lerma to his right. Takes a handoff, trying to go upfield. Hinojosa, along with number 55, that's uh, Grant Taylor on the... Uh, Tackle for the Wildcats. Got some scores coming in for you. Gregory Portland taking on Bernie. At the half, Gregory Portland 21 to 14. Laredo taking on Flower Bluff. Flower Bluff leading 7-0. Corpus Christi Moody over the uh, Jefferson Mustangs 28 to 0. Brands' pass taking on Ingleside. Ingleside with a 12-0 lead. Nixon Smiley taking on Three Rivers. Three Rivers, 24 to six. Shushart going to the back corner of the end zone. Trying to hit his wide receiver, number eight. Again, looking for Luke Tapp. Incomplete pass for the Indians, but again, you can see that uh, Shushart has a connection there with uh, Tapp. That was good defense by Cade Wood that time. 
If he could have got his head turned around, he might have been able to pick that off. Hard to cover number eight. Tall young man. Again, tap. Indians going with the uh, four wide receivers. Trips to the near side. Tate split wide up top. Shushart looking for a little screen pass, and it's going to be complete to the uh, fullback, Latima. And Latima pretty much walks it in from 10 yards out, Coach. And, boy, they made that one look easy. Well, the only one that was looking for that screen that time looked like it was Grant Taylor. But he just couldn't hold on. He grabbed a handful of jersey, but that wasn't going to stop Lerma from getting in the end zone. Going for two. Trips formation. Gun right for Jordanton. Shoe shark. Oh. Number six. Connects with his running back. They'd like to go to that single receiver side, maybe on a slant here near the end zone. And it is slant. And it's going to be a two-point two point conversion. Is that Tate? I believe that's number eight. Yes, it is. It is Tate. Tate what's a good-looking wide receiver. Number eight, Luke Tate on the two-point conversion. 10-03. Left to go here before the half. Indians on the board. Cal Allen 21. Jordanton 14. We'll be back with more Wildcat football on 1400 KUNO. That slant is hard to stop on the end zone. I could just see that happening. I saw that receiver get way out there past the numbers. You knew he was going to run an inside route. Thirty-three. Harris tees it up at the forty-yard line. Carpinello, Rubio back deep. For the Wildcats, they stand at about their 15-yard line. Harris kicking from left to right. High end-over-end kick. This one will be taken at the 20-yard line. That's number two. Sonny Carponello had some room on the right side. Over the 45-yard uh, line, he'll be brought down at about the 46-yard line. A little pushing and shoving there at the end. Brought down by number 15, Josiah Garza. We do have a flag. It's going to be a dead ball foul. Looking over at the uh, sideline of the Indians, and we'll wait for the call, but I believe that's going to go against the Indians. Unsportsmanlike, or? Does his helmet get turned around at all? Referees will talk it over, but they're actually pointing well, back. So there must be two flags. There is. There's one on the uh, 20. At the 28-yard line. And the other one at the 45. So it's going to be holding. Holding. Against Cal Allen. Waiting for the uh, second call here by the uh, referee. <laughs> See a 10-yard penalty. But I guess they're not going to call so there's the a dead ball foul against. On both of them. Oh, they're both of them. So well, that's a huge penalty against the Wildcats. After getting a nice return, they're going to start this drive at the 18-yard line with 9.54. Left to go before the half. And instead of starting at the 47, Coach, you're starting at the 18. Mm -hmm. Hickman brings the Wildcats to the line of scrimmage. Hinojosa, three yards deep. Turns around, hands it to Epi. Epi going right upfield. Breaking tackles, carrying a would-be defender on his back. 
He'll be brought down at about the 33, 34 yard line. We'll see where they spot him. It's going to be the 34. Picks up and up for the first down. They'll move the chains. Brought down by number three, Cooper Shorsh. Fort Jordanton. All cats will stay in the uh, two tight end set. Hickman under center. Tosses it to number two. Carpinello on the right side. Spinning. Lunging forward. He'll get to about the 40 yard line. It's about a six yard gain there by the uh, junior running back. Number two, Sonny Carpinello. Brought down by number 24, Joe Anthony Mendoza. Carpinello checks out. Rubio checks in. Second down and four for the Wildcats. David Lynn at tight end. David Lowe, I'm sorry, at tight end, number 42 for the Wildcats. Overload the uh, left side. Hand off to number 23, Hinojosa. Has some running room up the middle. Still driving his feet, breaking tackles. Finally brought down ch uh, just shy of midfield. But a strong run there by number 23, Happy Hinojosa. Brought Picks up another first down. Brought down by number 24, Joe Anthony Mendoza, and number 30, Cooper Aubrey. I must say, that was probably the third and fourth tackler that attempted to bring him down. Nice strong run there by Hinojosa. Eight minutes and 20 seconds. Hickman under center. Wildcats driving. From right to left, handoff to Medina, 24, around the outside, trying to get around the corner. Medina does. He's got the 30, 25, 20, still on his feet, inside the 15. He's going to be brought down right outside the 10-yard line or at the 10-yard line. Nice, strong run there by the uh, running back, number 24, Luke Medina. Number 24, Luke Medina, great job of following the, the guards out there. Good job on that 48 sweep. Medina stayed in bounds, so the clock rolls once they set the chains. Good job by Reed Balthrop and Evan Eden on that play. Ball resting just inside the 10-yard line, so it is first down and goal. Wildcats overload the left side. A handoff to number 23, Hinojosa. Hinojosa driving. He won't be brought down, and he's going to go into the end zone. 10 yards. That's the second touchdown of the night for number 23, Happy Hinojosa. Tell you what, he, f he followed number 77, Cole Hobbs, straight up the middle into the end zone. So it's quick of the Indian struck. Wildcats come right back. Ethan Salinas to hold. 64, Jordan King will try the point after. Snap on the way, King. Ooh. This one, I don't know if it got tipped at the line of scrimmage or he just not come off his foot, but Please. that one's going to be unsuccessful to say the least. He's been kicking pretty good, so I'll have to think somebody got a finger on that. All right. Seven minutes, 39 seconds. We'll have to go before the half. Cal Allen, 27. Jordan's in 14. We'll be back on 1400 KUNO. Sonic Drive-In, they have everything to satisfy your hunger from corn dogs to burgers, not to mention the delicious frozen drinks and desserts. Do what's right and make a stop at America's favorite drive-in. out there check out diamond cut graphics for all your design needs for shirts and such all right welcome back wildcats on the board 27 to 14 the point after was blocked william birch number 41 will tee it up at the 40 yard line indians will send two men deep standing at about the 20 yard line Birch. High short kick. This one will be taken at the 20 yard line. What a great Good special tackle. teams play by number five. That's Bryce Burnett coming up and making the tackle on the return man. 
Not much room there for number 11, Diego Salazar. That was a great open field tackle by Bryce Burnett. Great job. Going to spot the ball right at the 25-yard line. For the Callan Wildcats, that tackles. Everybody's back out there. Grant Taylor, Jaden Rodriguez on the nose guard, Ernest Hinojosa. Shushart will stay in at quarterback. Taking over for number seven, Hicks. Four wide receivers. Trip split up top. Single wide out to the near side. Looking through the sideline. Got the call. Running back, Latima stands to the right. Hand off to Latima. Trying to go around the outside. Mm -hmm. Grant tried to bring him down. Was able to get some pressure in the backfield, but it's going to be uh, number seven, I believe, for the Wildcats. Logan Koval making the tackle, but got to give credit to number 55, Grant, getting some pressure. He's slowing him down enough for Koval, and actually Callaway also got there. Three-yard gain on the play, second down and seven. Clock approaching the seven-minute mark. Wildcats with a 27-14 lead. And off again to Latimer. Grant, again, meets him in the backfield. Number 35, Hinojosa, along with number 69, Jaden Rodriguez, in on the tackle. Maybe a gain of a yard on the play. We'll call it third down and seven. Shushart, the pass in the uh, far flat, cuts it upfield. That's, I believe that's number eight. He's been his big receiver tonight. That's Tate. Cuts it upfield, gets a couple of blocks, and he's going to pick up about six yards on the play. He's going to bring up fourth down and one for the Indians. They're going to go for it. Fake the left. Shushart keeps it around the left. Shushart needs a yard. He's going to pick up. Looks like he got About it. two yards on the play. It's going to be enough to move the chains. No huddle. Trips right formation. Quarterback looking to the sideline. No signal in the play. Indians have gone with a no huddle throughout the evening. Shushart looks over to the uh, sideline. Plenty of time. Play clock just now getting down to 15 seconds. Trips to the near side. Single wide out split up top. High snap. Hand off to Latima. Trying to go upfield. Not much room there in the middle. William Burtz, number 41. Grant Taylor at the bottom. Burt's got him up top. Yard of a gain. One yard on the play. Jordan Bring up a second down and nine. For no huddle offense, they're using a lot of time. Maybe that's their plan. They look over to the sideline. For a long time. Sure do. Again, four wide receiver set. Latimer stands to the left of the quarterback. Shushart looking downfield, trying to go across the middle was number 14, Tyler Berg. But the pressure was Lo able to affect that throw there. Logan called Koval, almost got to him. An incomplete pass will bring up third down and nine for the uh, Indians. Coming to you on a Friday night, Northwest Corpus Christi. Thanks for taking time out of your Friday night to join us. 35 rows up above the uh, home crowd. Number 88, Jace Harholzer in for Jordanton. And wide receiver. Lone receiver to the bottom here. Backside pressure coming. Number seven trying to get to him. And I believe he's going to get him. He does. Perfect timing on the blitz. That's Logan Koval. He got them that time. Shushart, lucky to hold on to the ball. He never saw him coming, and Koval put that face mask 
right between the numbers and brings him down for a big loss. Looked like Jordan was trying to run that OSHA screen, that tunnel screen to the left, trying to go to the favorite target, Luke Tapp, number eight. Clock rolling, 348. Now Coach Andrus wants to take a timeout. We're going to keep it right here. 341 left to go before the half. Cal Island, 27 to 14. That'll give us time to thank some of our sponsors. How about County Commissioner Robert Hernandez? Orthopedic. Crane Services, Integrity Storage and Jack Taylor Insurance, Mike Cotton's Barbecue, Scott and Mia Taylor, and U.S. Ecology. I'd like to thank all our sponsors for helping us out throughout the year. Without our sponsors, these games wouldn't be possible. So big fourth down play coming up. Again, trips to the near side. Lone receiver up at the top. Thinking you might see a quick kick here from the uh, quarterback. He, you're exactly right. He's backing up two more steps. There it is. Quick kick. That's going to be a short went kick. Went off the side of his foot. Takes a wildcat bounce. And again, going the wrong way. It'll be finally brought down at the 46-yard line of the Indians. With Great. three minutes and 32 seconds going before the half. Great field position for the Wildcats. Should be able to get into. Jim King taking on San Diego. They're scoreless. Also have Santa Gertrudis taking on Benavides, 28 to zero at half. Mathis, 16 to seven over Odom. Hebronville, 14 zero over Freer. Hickman. Under center. Turns around. Hands it off to number 24, Medina. Sidesteps a few would-be tacklers. Good and Medina will make a positive, which should have been a negative, but he's going to pick up about eight yards on the play. He was met in the backfield, Coach, was able to make a couple of defenders miss him and picks up a nice gain on the play. Instead of a three-yard loss, three jukes later, he's got some positive yards. Also coming in, how about Referio taking on George West? Referio 21-0. Ingleside 26 to 0 over Ranzas Pass. Orange Grove 16 to 6 over Hidalgo. Westoso 14 to 13 over Taft. Right formation. Second down play coming up. Sonny Carpinello takes a pitch. Goes around the right side. Carpinello on his feet still going. Flag comes out from the uh, referee. That one might be coming back, coach. Good piece of running by Sonny. And it is going to be holding against Cal Allen. That's what that referee is looking for. He's looking at that interior line. And the spot foul is going to bring him back 10 yards from the uh, line of scrimmage. Hmm. Is that a second and two? Is going to bring up a second and 12. Couldn't see where the holding was. I'd like to thank everyone for tuning in on a Friday night, wherever you're at, at home, at work, in your car, out here at the game. Thanks for taking time out of your Friday night to join us. Doubles gun right. Second down and 12. Fake to Hinojosa. Hickman steps up in the pocket, trying to get a block from Hinojosa. Breaks it to the left. Still on his feet. He's got the 40. Going to be brought down at the 35. It looks like Hickman's going to have enough for the first down. Needed 12 yards, picked up 13. Still waiting for the signal. There it is. They're going to move the chains. Nice run by Hickman. Felt the pressure, but got a nice block there by number 23 in Hosa. Great piece of running. Those legs are electric. Yeah, he runs so smooth, but yet he's, he's really moving. 
Two and a half minutes remaining here before the half. Rubio and Salinas split out to the right side. Doubles formation. Hickman looking downfield. Looking. Trying to go across the middle. He's got a man wide open. Touchdown, Cal Allen. Rubio. Number 21, Skyler Rubio. On the 35-yard touchdown pass. And he was wide open going across the middle, coach. That's the second touchdown of the night for Rubio. Hickman and Rubio connecting on a 35-yard touchdown yeah, pass. I, wait, I really liked the way Hickman stood in that pocket and waited and waited and waited for Rubio to get crossed over the middle, and he just well, hit him in stride. Beautiful pass. So now the Wildcats, after having the last point attempt blocked, will go for two. Scored in less than a minute. Still have two and a half minutes before halftime. Wing T, right motion. Hickman hands it off, and Hanahosa pretty much goes in untouched. Nice block to seal off that edge for the Wildcats. Wildcats will convert the two-point conversion. 2.26 left to go before the half. Cal Allen, 35. Jordanton, 14. We'll be back on 1400 KUNO. When you want to treat yourself to a night of not cooking, keep it simple. When you've got opposing appetites, feel daunted by deadlines, or need a timeout from takeout, keep it simple. Anytime you want a chef-inspired home-cooked meal, minus the whole cooking thing, keep it simple. H-E-B Meal Simple. Hundreds of freshly prepared meal options ready to grab and go or heat and eat. Available only at H-E-B. New kicker. Uh oh. 14. Aiden Culver. Number 14, Aiden Culver will tie. tee it up at the 40 yard line. Right footed kicker. A little squib kick. This one's going to bounce at the 15. Muffed by the return man. Picks it up. Tries to go upfield, but he's going to be met by a host of Wildcats. Number 11 on the return, Diego Salazar for the uh, Indians. Looked like, looked like Height and Salinas were the first ones down there along with Rogers. Two minutes and 20 seconds remaining here before the half. Lots of fireworks here in the first half. Singles tight end on the right side. Running backs pump into each other in the backfield. Confusion. Gonna lose about five yards in the play. There was some confusion in the backfield as both running backs bumped into each other. One of them stepped on the quarterback's foot. Bad thing for Shushar, right as he got stepped on, that linebacker blew him up. Second down and 15. Shushart is the uh, quarterback for the Indians. Latimer stands to the left of his quarterback. 64 Jordan King in a nose guard. Latimer takes a handoff. Going right upfield. Not much room there. Callaway along with a host of Wildcats in there to make the tackle. William Birch, number 41. 64 King all in on the tackle. Not much room there for the uh, Indians. No gain on the play. It's going to bring up a third down and 15. Outside linebackers for Cal Allen, number five, Bryce Burnett, number seven, Logan Koval, along with the inside backers, William Burtz and Colton Callaway. Approaching the uh, one-minute mark here. Right before the half, Wildcats with a 35-14 lead over the Indians. 
Coach Andrews is looking John, at the clock. So I was he's say, the play clock was down to two seconds when he signaled to the uh, side judge for the uh, timeout. I'd like to thank Chick-fil-A, Cameron Commercial and Industrial. How about Mike Shaw Toyota, BAD, NAC Co-op, H&S Constructors, a and Septic Services. How about David Here, Coach, I'm returning your book. You know, these are really beat up. You know you can apply for a mini grant and get up to $500 to replace them? Yeah? Huh. Whoa! For real. I should probably do that. Maybe get some new books from these kids. If you are in need of money for innovative things for your class, you can apply for this mini grant. You can find all this information on the Kellen website. To have this monitor up here. Third down and 15. And off to oh, the uh, fullback. That's a and boy, is he met by number 44, Colton Calloway. Just introduced himself. and That's a linebacker training film right I tell there. You what, that is a breakdown tackle. That's what you want to show your kids on how to tackle. That was a great tackle by number 44, Colton Calloway. And I believe the timeout was taken. Is that the Wildcats taking a timeout? They do. We still have one timeout left, but the Wildcats looking to get the ball back. There's 42 seconds here before the half. Coach Andrus will almost be forced to punt, but you know, we've seen the punter for... Uh, Didn't work out well yeah, last I was going to say time. for Jordanton, they've had a couple of short punts. Again, Hicks was your starting quarterback. He's also your punter. He came out of the game in the first quarter, and he's been replaced by the uh, junior, number six, Clyde Shushart. We'll see what Coach Andrews decides to play here. See if the Wildcats don't send two men back. Yeah, they're going to line up, then he'll back up. Seven, then what? Back to punt for the Indians. Again, quick kick. This one a very short kick. Wildcats will stay away from it. It does take an Indian bounce. It's going to roll out of bounds at the 46-yard line, but there's 34 seconds left for the Wildcats to try to put some points on the board. Hickman has been looking for his wideouts going across the field right up that middle coach and uh, he's had Rubio twice. Let's see if they don't go for it a third time here. <laughs> First down and 10 for the Wildcats. Ball at the 46 yard line. I'm trying to see. Something's going on with your mic here. Hickman dropping back. Looking downfield. Has some pressure. Now steps away. Rolling right. Again, now we'll dump it off. He's got a man open at the 30-yard line. Trying to get out of bounds. And he will get out of bounds inside the 25-yard line to the 21. Coach uh, Brotherton, I'm not sure what's going on here. It says connected. Hang up, yes. There we go. Well, Cats moved the chains on the 21 yard line. Hickman dropping back again has a wide out. That's number four on the reception. Cody Newell. He's going to be brought down immediately at the 11 yard line. 12 seconds remaining, and the Wildcats will take another timeout. Coach, I'm not sure if we're connected or not. Oh. It sounds like we are, but I don't think we are. 
Wait, do you put 206? Is it 207? Oh, 206, I'm sorry. There you go. All right, I think we're back. Apologize for the uh, technical difficulty. Wildcats have taken a timeout. They've completed two passes. They're inside the 15-yard line to the 12-yard line with 13 seconds remaining. Strategy of the Wildcats taking that timeout on fourth down, paying off, trying to put some points on the board here before halftime. Well, let's see if we can go 17 yards in 13 seconds. If you're Hickman, you got to be smart here. Shotgun formation, trips to the left. Single wide out split up top. Hickman rolling to his left. Looking downfield. Looking for his man. Complete. And he's going to be pushed out of bounds at the two-yard line. That's number 21, Skylar Rubio again. Smart play by Rubio. Got as much as he could, then stepped out of bounds. Still seven seconds remaining, Coach. Number one, Ethan Purchase at the two-yard line. Knock him out. Actually, it's the one-yard line. Kept him from getting into the end zone. See if they bring in Epi, Coach. Am I bringing your two tight end set? That two point conversion play they ran earlier. Sean Wolf double tight ends with David Lowe. And they're they're going to go for it here. Two tight end set. Luke Medina. Epi and Hosa. Three yards deep. Motion left. Hickman keeps it. Hickman takes it straight in. Hickman will take it in for the touchdown. One yard quarterback keeper and Hickman on the score sheet. With five seconds remaining, but what a drive by the Wildcats. 46 yards, and it took 29 seconds to find the end zone. Great time management. You know, with Nil being able to get out of bounds. And then, you know, having the timeouts left. King. Point after coming out for Jordan King. Right-footed kicker, strong kick. This one through the uprights. Five seconds remaining in the half. Cal Allen, 42, Jordanton, 14. We'll be back on 1400 KUNO. No store does more than my HEB. The first half that we did all last week. And just look different, though. We're passing the ball more tonight, which just looked a good sign. <laughs> hey. Aiden Culver to kick off. At the 40-yard line. High end-over-end end kick. This one will be taken at the 14-yard line. Heading upfield is the return man. And he's going to be brought down immediately. And the Wildcats will go into the half. 42-14 over the Jurdenton Indians. Real quickly, want to give a shout-out to my son, daughter-in-law, and grandson over in Victoria tuning in on YouTube. Chris, Christina, Cameron, Baby KG, thanks for tuning in on a Friday night. We're going to take it into halftime. 42-14, to 14, Cal Allen over Jordanton. We'll be back on 1400 KUNO. place to find the latest drip whether it be cups hoodies blankets hats or shirts head over to diamond cut graphics there's always service with a smile and the customer is always right a 
Ladies and gentlemen, Wildcat Nation, please welcome to the field the Cal Allen High School Wildcat Band. The Wildcat Band is under the field direction of drum majors Emily Garza and Katie Liao. For over 45 years, the Cal Allen Band has been a standard of excellence, placing first in over 300 UIL and non-UIL competitions. 13 appearances at the state UAL marching contest, including placing in the state finals last year, and 15 state championships between the winter drumline and the winter guard. The members of the Cal Allen Band have been hard at work and are very proud to be performing for you tonight. Section of the week is the Tubas. Marcher of the week is Nick Kane. Tonight, the band will be performing movement one of their 2021 UAL production entitled The Doorway. Ladies and gentlemen, enjoy your Cal Allen Marching Wildcats and their performance of The Doorway.
Ladies and gentlemen, entering the field, please welcome the five-time national champion, Cal Allen Topcats. The Topcats are directed by Mallory Hernandez. Topcat officers are Colonel Morgan Hernandez. Top cat of the week is Angelina Rivas. The Jardinton Independent School District is proud to present the pride of Atascosa County, the Jardinton High School Mighty Indian Band. The Indian Band is under the direction of Mr. David Torch, Ms. Erin O'Sullivan, Mr. Ryan Moose, and Mr. Ronald Burton. Drum majors are Jasmine Pettis and Lily Briones. The Indian Band would like you to join us in congratulating our Band Member of the Week, Michael Garcia. Good job, Michael. Our Section of the Week is the Low Reeds. And our Band Booster of the Week is Mr. Tony Briones.
Tonight, the band will perform a flag feature to Earth, Wind & Fire's September. Following that, we'll be debuting our 20, 2021 UIL show entitled The Strings That Bind Us. The show will paint a picture of a whimsical and transformative journey of puppets breaking free of their strings and discovering their fullest potential. Musical selections include Mad World from Tim Burton's Alice in Wonderland, Funeral March of the Marionettes from the mystery TV series Alfred Hitchcock Presents, Camille Sansan's Carnival of the Animals, and Radiohead's
Okay, guys, we are back. Sorry, we had we did lose our feed there for a little bit. Uh, one of our systems decided to pop up with an update, and when that update popped up, it shut us down. So we're back and running. That was the Jordanton band that just played. We are switching between our radio crew and myself that's running the live stream. So you'll have to excuse the mishaps that we have. Uh, last year, we discovered that we have a lot of people that actually want to see the band play at halftime. So uh, you got to have to get the happy medium with the football players during the game, and then at halftime we'll try to showcase uh, the bands if, if we can. And uh, I'm in the announcing booth tonight uh, with Coach Lawrence, and uh, we got to see uh, Mr. Valperts come up here and do the announcing for the band. I hope he cut that before the live stream went dead. Uh, one of our reporters down on the field did catch up with Coach Danaher before they went into uh, the locker room, so let's take a look and see how that interview went. TV. This is Michaela at the Friday Night Football Game, and I'm here with Coach Danaher. So it is great to have you back. How do you feel to be back now? Oh, man. It, you just can't believe the height that we're getting. Our kids played so well tonight, and they, you know, they, they really came out and played well. Played on their home field, which even made it better. Well, yeah, I'm excited about it. Yes, sir. Yeah. And at halftime, the score is 42-14. to 14. How do you feel on the players first half 42 14 that's a, that was a good number for us yes, sir and our little running backs are running tough <laughs> and how about our quarterbacks throwing and receivers catching we're yeah. getting better we are getting better all right well we'll let you head back thank you for your time thank you well, you're more than welcome thank <laughs> y'all hi cal tv this is mckay All right, guys, that was Michaela interviewing Coach Danaher. And you should see the players are coming back out to the field. We will kick it back over to our radio guys. Hopefully they, uh, looks like Coach Brotherton gave us a sub-varsity report. So if we missed it already, I'll just go ahead and tell you. Our JV team and our freshman team won. And behind me is our actual radio guy. So uh, we're going to be throwing it back over to you. When are you going back on? Every home game, we're going to be live streaming best we can. All right, perfect. So, Just to make sure I that. all right, we are we are going to send it back over to the radio guys and see what they have. So, give me a sec. Uh, so we've got the both teams coming out right now and getting warm backed up. Go over a couple of more scores real quick. We have West Oso twenty-eight to nineteen over Taft right now at halftime. Ingleside thirty-three to zero over Aransas Pass uh, in the third quarter with five minutes twenty seconds left. Math, this is up. 16 to 14 over Odom. You have uh, Moody 42 to 0 over Jefferson right now at half. Uh, again, Victoria East 21 to 0 over Alice at half. You have uh, Fire Bluff going into the third quarter 14 to 0 over Alexander. Tolosa Midway still at the halftime up. Rockport uh, up over Kingheim Mustangs 41 to 18 at the half. Santa Gertrudis is uh, 28 to 0 over Benavides right now. You have uh, Referio at the half right now over George West, 55 to zero. Uh, going into Premont and Alwaldose, Premont's up 22 to zero at the half. And then a couple of scores uh, that occurred earlier: Sinton 50 to 12 over Carroll High School, 
and uh, Miller and veterans, of course, last night. Uh, some of you saw that on TV as well, 62-21. to 21. Vets take that one. And then uh, you have uh, Ben Caddy over Ben Bolt was 39-0. to zero. And that is kind of what we got for the rest of our scores. We've got about two minutes remaining. The guys are getting ready to run through the banners again. So we're going to take one last break, and we'll get that third quarter started. YouTube tonight, so. Are we? I'll let him know, yeah. I was just asking Coach Lamb. He said every every home game. Yeah, he's going to be able to stream it, I think. America's Drive-In is the fast food restaurant that isn't that far from the school that has the best foods out there. If you need a place to go and eat, go to Sonic, America's Drive-In. Sonic, America's Drive-In is the fast food restaurant that isn't that far from the school that has the best foods out there. If you need a place to go and eat, go to Sonic, America's Drive-In. Culver, number 14, set to kick off. And we are off. Number 14, Aiden Culver with a kick. This one's still bouncing on the carpet on the ground. Wildcats looking for a gift. I think we may have it, Coach. Looks like number nine, Height, might have gotten the ball. Wait to see who's coming out from the bottom of the pile. They're oh. going to say Indian ball, but, boy, that ball was in the carpet they for both. some time. But yeah. Indians coming up with the recovery. But I'll tell you what, there was a bunch of Wildcats around that ball. Luke Tapp was able to come up with it. I guess right there at the very end, number eight, for the Indians. So the Indians will have the ball to start the third quarter. 11.54, opening drive of the third quarter. Indians driving left to right. Start the drive on the 27-yard line, shotgun formation. Tied left trips. Hand off to Latima, the uh, big running back, and he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage like William Birch. Number 69 is a, uh, Jaden Rodriguez. Short gain, maybe a yard on the play. Looked like everybody. Grant Taylor, William Burtz, Colton Callaway. Looked like everybody got a piece of them. like to let our listeners know that uh, the game is being streamed on YouTube. You can actually watch the game live. I'd like to thank uh, Cal Allen TV, Coach Lamb, and the student body for making it possible. All you got to do is go to YouTube and look up Cal Allen TV, and you'll see the link right there. I was told at halftime that every home game will be broadcast on YouTube, so not only can you tune in and listen live, you can watch from the comfort of your home. Lerma with the carry, met by William Burtz and Colton Callaway. Again, like to uh, say hello to some of our listeners out there in San Antonio, Margaret and Elazar Salinas. Our local fans. How about Norby? Almaraz, our, uh, Norby, thanks for tuning in. I was just uh, texting Norby at halftime. Longtime friend, longtime co worker. Big Kel Allen Wildcat fan. Thanks for being with us on a Friday night, Norby. Dropping back. Shoe Shark going downfield. That one oh, almost gosh. intercepted. That should have been picked off. We had a good chance of picking that ball off. Shoe Shark kind of. 
let that go off his back foot. Anytime you do that, Coach, it's dangerous. Kind of floated up in the air. He was up there for a long time. I, I think he was hoping that Tap would find a way to go up and get that ball. Tight right trips formation. Tight trips. Look for that quick kick here from Shushard. Nobody back deep for the Wildcats. Yeah, he's backing up. There you go. Steps back a couple more yards. Shushart, right foot punter. This one's a better punt than we've had throughout the first half. Bounce at the 40. It kind of rolled backwards to about the uh, 38. Took a nice little bounce for the Indians, but then came back. It's down at the 38-yard line. So the first drive of the third quarter for the Indians. Wildcat defense holds them three and out. 10-15, and the Wildcat offense will come on the field for the first Time in the third quarter. And Coach, I'll look for Hickman to start this opening drive, try to get some points on the board. And you might start to see some of these other young players rest some of these players tonight. It's 42-14 to 14 now in the third quarter. We'll see what happens. Yeah, it looks like we're going with the spread offense. They will start the drive on the 38-yard line. Ball resting on the near hash mark right in front of us. Newell, Salinas, and Rogers to the right side up top. Wildcats driving right to left. Running back stands to the left. Quick pass to the far flat. Goes upfield. Picks up a couple of yards on the play. Not much room there for the uh, wide receiver, number one, Ethan Salinas. Little quick hitch pass to the right side. And a host will check back in. Brody Rogers thought was coming out. He gets sent back in. That'll be number four, Cody Newell, checking out of the game. Second Kid down play coming up. Kittigua, Rubio, and Salinas trips to the left side. Yep. They Ooh, hand off to Anahosa. Hickman it. keeps it. Hickman goes upfield. Hickman will pick up about 14 yards on the play up to the 47-yard line of the Indians. That'll be enough to move the chains. Tackle by number 45, Tristan Kraft, the linebacker. I'd like to remind the folks that are at work, if you can want to follow us on Twitter at Cat's Eye Radio, all your updates tonight by Fisher Powell and Cindy Powell. Let us know where you're listening from. We'll be glad to say hello. At Cat's Eye Radio on Twitter. Shotgun formation, quick pass to the near flat. Pass complete. That's number 22 for the Wildcats. Alex Kittigua cutting up field inside the 35 to the 34-yard line. That was a good catch and run by Kittigua. Kind of shifty. See the Wildcats working on the passing game here. We know they can run the ball last week, breaking a school record with over 600 yards rushing for the night. That was a heck of a night. Four wide receivers, twins up top. Wins down low. Epi Hinojosa. Hickman makes a handoff, rolls to his right. Salinas on the pass. Reception. And I believe you're going to have a, is that a crack back, Coach? Uh, that's a clip in the back. Clip in the back. Yeah. From, and flag still coming out. Nice uh, pass and catch from Hickman to Salinas. But we have some yellow laundry on the field. Might have a couple of infractions here. Rich DeLeon doing a great job zooming in for us. Personal foul. Personal foul against Cal Allen. And again, that should be a spot foul. No microphone for the uh, referee tonight. Signaling up to the uh, home press box. 35 rows above the home crowd we are. Primetime crew coming at you. I'm Mike Guerrero. To my left is Coach Medina. Our statistician tonight is Coach Mike Brotherton. Looks like first and about 18 for Kel Allen. The yard to gain is the 24-yard line. Eight minutes and 33 seconds remaining here in the third quarter. Doubles gun right. Handoff right up the middle. Big room. He's That's gone. Hinojosa. He's gone. Hinojosa is going to high step it. Nothing but green grass in front of him. 42-yard touchdown run by number 23, Epi Hanahosa. And Hanahosa, just to tell you what, you give him the ball and he's going to make something happen, Coach. Runs with power, runs with speed. You can just see that young man really...
developing from the first time we saw him on the field two years ago as a as a young well, freshman. Yes. Once he broke the line of scrimmage and he got by that linebacker, really, I mean, with the doubles, I mean, your secondary spread out. He just outran him to the middle of the field into the end zone. Jordan King, number 64, for the point after. Snap on the way. Kick. This one off the upright on the left-hand side. This one's going to be no good. 8-21. Left to go here in the third quarter. Cal Allen, 48. Jordanton, 14. We'll be back. On 1400 KUNO. Aiden again? Aiden Culver? Aiden Culver. Nice kick. Aiden Culver with the kick. Again, muffed by the Indian return man, number 11, Diego Salazar. He's able to pick it up, go downfield, and he's going to bring it out to about the 27-yard line. That's where the Indians will take over with eight minutes and 14 seconds remaining here in the third quarter. First down and 10 for the Indians from the 27 yard line. They trail 48 to 14. Second possession here of the first half. Shoe Shark. Quarterback for the Indians. Lerma, number 22, the running back. Four wide receivers, trips to the near side. Shotgun formation. And off to Latima. Latima trying to go up the middle. And he's going to be met by a host of Wildcats. Hinojosa, Birch, along with number seven, Logan Koval. I'd like to say hello to Ann Rogers, who uh, let her know on Twitter that she's listening in from Waco. Grandma. To Brody Rogers. So thanks for following us on Twitter. Doubles gun left formation. Clock rolling, 7.38. Uh-oh. Well, there could have been a false start on the far side there, but they didn't call it. Sweet. And off to number 11. That's been the return man, Diego Salazar. Salazar met in the backfield, but Hinojosa lost his helmet on the play. He's going to have to come over to the sideline, but just great penetration by that front line coach meeting him in the – in the back. That was all earnest right there. Jordan King will check in. Hinojosa will come out for one play. Maybe number, longer. Number 64, Jordan King. Loss of about five yards on the play. It's going to bring up third down and 15. Running back stands to the left of Shushart. Three wide receivers split wide to the near side. Coach Andrus on the far sideline, calling the play in to his quarterback. Play clock down to 10 seconds. Hand off to Latima, trying to come around the near side. Latima brought down immediately. And I get, again, that's number 41, William Birch. <laughs> William Birch having a great night tonight. So was Callaway, Ernest Hinojosa, Jaden Rodriguez, Grant Taylor. Fourth down play coming up. Look for the quick kick. And it Shoe Shark be. drops back about eight yards from the line of scrimmage. This time again gets a nice punt. This one's a high punt. Takes a nice Indian bounce at the 50, and it's going to bounce to about the 40-yard line. And the Indians will down it 
at the 40-yard line, and that's where the Wildcats will start this drive. That'll give us time to thank some of our sponsors tonight. How about County Commissioner Robert Hernandez, the Orthopedic Center of Corpus Christi, Grande Communications, ANR Septic Services, Jersey Mike's, in memory of Les Cole from the Hobbs family, David Bodright, CPA, PLLC, and Dr. Anthony Gonzalez, DDS. I'd also like to say hello to Brian, class of 2005, following us on Twitter, letting us know he's in South Korea. We got fans all over the world, Coach. Tell you what. You... Yeah. Thank you for tuning in, Brian. Thanks for letting us know where you're at. Hand off from the Wildcats. Going right up the middle, that's number 24, Luke Medina. Nice pickup by Medina. Bryce Burnett comes in in the backfield. Picks up nine yards on the play. Number 40, Isai Sanchez comes in for Cal Allen. <coughs> He'll be Bryce Burnett's in at quarterback. That is right, number five. Taking over the reins for the uh, Wildcats. Isai Sanchez and Luke Medina in the backfield. Toss sweep to the uh, running back coming around the left side. Medina tries to cut it upfield, loses his footing. Pick up and up for the first down. That'll move the chains. Ball now at the uh, 47-yard line of the Indians. 29 toss sweep. Clock rolling, 4.50 left to go here in this third quarter. Wildcats, 48-14 to 14 over the Indians. Game two of the season, Wildcats come in with a 1-0 record. Jordanton, 0-1. Wing right. Burnett under center. Turns around, hands it off to number two. Sonny Carpinello trying to get to the outside. Carpinello gets the edge, picks up about six, seven yards. 48 sweep. Good job of the guards out there in front. Still some great blocking going on as well, Coach. Just finishing off those blocks. You can just see it here from up top. We get a great vantage point. Walking up these steps isn't easy, but we give a great view for sure. Coach, we talked about it earlier. That first team started the third quarter. Got that opening drive in the end zone. Now you start to see some of these younger players. Let your starters rest. I think that's, yeah, there's height <coughs> at Z-back. Hand off to Carpinello. Carpinello breaks the tackle, goes around the right side. He'll pick up about four yards in the play. He's going to be shy of the fa uh, first down. Number 55, Diego Valdez on the tackle okay, for the Indians. Let's see if we can check in on our scoreboard. Third down and one for the uh, Wildcats. Flower Bluff, 21-0 over Laredo Alexander. Moody, 49-7 over San Antonio Jefferson. Victoria East still leading 28-0 over Alice. Handoff to the left side. Trying to elude a would-be tackler and ends up uh, with no gain on the play on that one, Coach. So... No, you, you might see the Wildcats go for it here on fourth down. Well, we we're unbalanced to the left, running, you know, lead, running the lead to the left side. We, we've got to bash it. You can't dance around. You've just got to put your shoulder down and get those extra yards and get that first down. 24. Luke Medina will check in. Bernie has taken the lead over Gregory Portland, 35 to 28. Victoria West, 28 to 15 over Beeville. Right formation. Fourth down and one. Turns around. Burnett hands it off to Medina. Medina spins around, still on his feet. He's going to need a yard, and he's going to pick up six. <laughs> First down and ten for the Wildcats, and that will keep the drive alive. Much better running there. Lowered his shoulder, got that, about three extra yards. Also Midway still leading their matchup, 21-7 to over Corpus Christi Ray. Told you the score from last night's game. Veterans Memorial 62 to 21 over Corpus Christi Miller. 75 at left tackle is Buchanan. He comes in along with Aiden Hidahosa, 74. Medina 
hit in the backfield, spins around, lunges forward, and he's going to pick up a hard three yards on the play, second down and seven. Coach, he was hit in the backfield and, again, made a nice run out of that. That was a hard shot he, he took from Hayden Harris, number 33, to kicker, who's also a linebacker. Clock rolling, 123 left to go in the third quarter. Wildcats starting to send some substitution ends. The quarterback now is number five, Bryce Burnett, junior quarterback. Mark Enders, the right guard. Whistles. All start against the Wildcats. We'll back them up the five yards. They picked up four on first down. Penalty will bring them back, and they'll be looking at a second down and 11. <coughs> Wildcats overload the left side. Burnett under center. Hand off to number two, Sonny Carpinello, trying to go back up the middle of the field. For 74, losing a helmet on the play. That's Aiden Hinojosa. As John Madden would say, thank goodness the head wasn't still in the helmet. <laughs> third down and 11 for the Wildcats. 40 seconds remaining here in the third quarter. Friday night football from Northwest Corpus Christi. Phil Danaher Field. Unbounce left. Let's see if we go in motion or just base lead. Nope. And off Carpinello, right side. Carpinello hit at about the 30 yard line. And again, another helmet coming off. I think that was a football. It was also a helmet up top, but you're right. The ball comes loose. Number one, Ethan Purchase comes up with the uh, fumble recovery for the Indians. I believe that's the first turnover of the night for either team. Mm -hmm. It was 48 sweep. Looked like he didn't protect the ball right there when he started to get hit. The Indians will take over with 15 seconds. They'll be at their own 28 yard line. Shotgun formation is what we've seen tonight for the Indians. Singles, tight left, doubles on the right. See it again. Running back to each side of the quarterback. Shoe Shark rolling to his right. Looking downfield, has a wide receiver. This one's gonna be, ooh, should have been intercepted. Number 21, I tell you what, Skyler Rubio for the receptions he's made tonight, Coach. I think that's what <laughs> was probably the easiest one, and he's looking at his hands, and he's in disbelief. I mean, that hit him right in the hands, Coach. You would almost think yeah. that Rubio was the intended receiver on that play. Shoe Shark kind of floated that one up in the air. Went over the uh, head of the receiver, Tyler Berg. Right in the hands of Rubio, but unable to bring it in. Aiden Culver back in at cornerback. Quick pass Swing to the floor pass. flat. Breaking tackles, trying to get out of bounds. Three seconds on the clock. Looks like they're going to let the clock roll. They're going to stop it with one <laughs> second. I looked up, there was four when he stepped out of bounds. I thought they were going to stop it with four. They let it roll a couple extra seconds, but they do stop it with one second. Now they're going to let it run. Inter That's going to take us. Interesting. Through uh, three quarters here at Phil Danaher Field. 12 minutes left as we go into the fourth quarter. Cal Allen, 48. Jurdenton, 14. We'll be back on 1400 KUNO. That was an interesting clock. <laughs> well, the waiter. No, uh, it's got to be a first. It's got to be a first down now, doesn't it? Let's see what they do. Third and three yards. Mm, they're spotting it at the 38. It's about a yard short, it looks like. Not quite a yard. The yard to gain is 
over the 38. It's already a first down. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it just <laughs> just moved it back. All right, welcome back as we start the fourth quarter. Latima takes a carry, trying to get around the outside. Latima working his way for a first down. He was hit in the backfield and just wouldn't go down. Strong running by number 22, Juan Latima, the junior running back. Tackle by Jordan King, number 64, and Colton Callaway, number 44. Lerma still in the backfield at running back. Looking over to the sideline. Coaches calling the play. Four wide receivers for the Indians. Two on each side, running back to the left. Fake to Latima, drops it off to his wide receiver, Berg. Berg tackled quickly by uh, number 25. That's uh, Isaiah Reina for the Wildcats. Coach Campbell comes out. About five yards onto the field. Give the uh, defense a play. Trips right, gun left. Formation for the Indians. Clock rolling with 10 minutes and 50 seconds left to go in this game. Shoe Shark looking, going downfield, has a man. Unable to connect with his wide receiver, number 11, Diego Salasad. He was open briefly. Ball Look. drops on the carpet, incomplete. I thought Rubio was going to pick that one off. Looked like he had a beat on it. Or maybe he had a beat on the receiver. Clock stops with the incomplete. Cody Newell in an inside linebacker, along with Colton Calloway. Play clock down to five seconds. Shushart takes a snap, rolls to his right, looking downfield. Dumps it off to his wide receiver. I believe that's number eight, Luke Tapp. And it is complete to the wide receiver. Luke Tapp had over 100 yards at halftime. Comes up a little slow on the play, going over to the sideline. Young man's had a big night tonight. Picks up the first down for the Indians. They'll set the chains and start the clock. Number 19, Levi Dickey. In a wide receiver for the Indians. Salazar, the wide receiver, shifting over to the left. Tyler Berg, number three receiver on the trip side. Play clock under three seconds. Indians will have to hurry. They pick, they do get it off. Ooh. That pass intended. I believe that was. Number 14, that is, that's Tyler Berg. That's dangerous. And he uh, led that wide receiver right into the defense, but unable to hold on to it. It's almost a good thing for Berg. Oh, man. Big crowd on hand tonight for the Wildcats in front of us. Jordanton. Some of the fans making the trip down 37. Red and white across the field. Maroon and white in front of us. The Indians flip the field. Trips right this time. Take the ladder. My shoe shark keeps it. Trying to go around the right side. Not much room. Big number 69 on the tackle for the uh, Cal Allen Wildcats. That's Jaden Rodriguez still in the game for Cal Allen. Clock rolling, 9.35 left to go in this game. Jordanton <laughs> took on Natalia last week. Came up short, 20-14. to 14. Cal Allen opened up their season against Gregory Portland last week. 41-19 to 19 over Gregory Portland. Tonight, 48 points on the board. Dickey and Berg on the left side. Timeout nope. will be taken by the Indians. There was only a second left. On the play clock. I'm going to keep it right here, Coach. You know, tonight, and it's good to see Coach Danaher back on the sideline. We talked about it last week. Uh, his first game that he's missed on the sidelines in 30 years, you know, due to health protocols. But good to see him back on the sideline leading this team. 
And uh, just uh, great to see the fans, the cheerleaders, the band, to make it a high, you know, high school football game. We talked about that early in the broadcast, but, you know, it feels like a Friday night football game. And we're just glad to have everybody here uh, with us at home. Thanks for taking time out of your Friday night to tune us in. It was great having him back. You know, it was good to see him on the sidelines. I'll tell you what, it's just good to see everybody back in the stands. Yeah. It's just good night of Friday night football. Northwest Corpus Christi, temperatures at 88 degrees at kickoff. Enjoying this uh, weather right before the uh, fall. Indians will be in doubles, two by two. Gun right. Learn on the right side of shoe chart. Shoe chart with the uh, handoff. A little trouble there. Now he's going to try to go to the right side. Shoe chart's going to be driven out of bounds by number seven. And a late flag coming out by the uh, referee, Logan Koval, on the tackle for the uh, Wildcats. I'd like to say hello to a former Wildcat, Ryan Duke, tuning in tonight. Ryan, thanks for joining us on a Friday night. I'd also like to give a shout out to Wes and Laura Danaher, watching online tonight on YouTube. Wes, thanks for tuning in on a Friday night. It's good hearing those names again. Some of them names from the past that uh, helped build this program to what it is today. Appreciate you taking time out of your Friday night. I can remember when those guys were little kids. I'm dating myself. Great, great athletes that came through this program. Ryan Duke ended up playing in the Phillies professional baseball organization after a stellar career at Oklahoma. Referees are they're calling uh, waiting for the call I guess it's going to be against Cal Allen a personal foul so it'll be a 15 yard penalty against the Wildcats nine minutes left to go in this game Wildcats 48 to 14 over the Indians Yeah, and taking a long time on this penalty, Coach. It looked like we were no, breezing no. along pretty good here in the second half. Looks like they got a lot of yards to count off. Like to remind everybody, next week the Wildcats will be at home. They will host Los Fresnos. 7.30 kickoff. We'll come on the air at 7.15. Hope you can join us. Game three of the season. There it is, personal foul against the Cal Island Wildcats. Are they going to give us two, Coach? Looks like it. They're going to tack on two penalties. Is that a 31-yard penalty? And they're going to move the ball just outside the red zone to the 21-yard line. Isaiah Raina, number 25, in for the Wildcats. That linebacker. Shotgun formation. Hand off to the uh, fullback, Lerma, trying to go upfield. Tackled immediately by that front line of the Wildcats. After about a two-yard gain on the play. Isai Sanchez and Height, along with Newell, finish out the linebacking core for Cal Allen. Inside the red zone for the Indians. Approaching the eight minute mark, driving from right to left. You've got number eight up top. That's Tap, one on one with Christian Gonzalez. Main weapon tonight for that's, Shushart. Well, that's the, that's that's the matchup. Going again. That's the matchup. And there they it want. is. Right over the top. Beautifully placed pass. 
from Shushart to number eight, Luke Tapp, on the 19-yard touchdown pass. And, Coach, that was a pass of perfection. Got to give him credit. The defender was <laughs> almost, right there. Almost saw it before it happened. Yeah, you did. You called it out. It was. I mean, Tapp has been the weapon tonight. Again, at halftime, he had over 100 yards. He's probably had another 40, 50 here in the second half. Was that 6-3 against 5-7? I think anybody would take advantage of that every time. Point after coming out from Hog, uh, Hayden Harris. Right-footed kicker, snap on the way, and again, that, blocked. that one is blocked. Picked up by the Wildcats on the left side. Blocked. Trying to find some room, not much there. Blocked again by Caden Wood. Kay did a great job that time once again. Seven minutes, 45 seconds remaining in the game. Cal Allen, 48, Jordanton, 20. We'll be back on 1400 KUNO. One forty. Hayden Harris tees it up at the 40-yard line. Indians with six points on the board. The extra point was blocked by Caden Wood. Wildcats lead 48-20 to over the Indians. High end over end kick. This one will be taken at the 21-yard line going straight up field. Now cuts back to his right. Trying to get around that outside edge. He has the middle of the field. Cuts across. That's number 21. Gets across midfield to the 43-yard line. And again, Skyler Rubio on the return for the Wildcats. Good job, Skyler. Good run back. And a 40-yard return, I believe, or 50-yard return for Rubio. The 38. Oh, man. 43, they're going to spot it. 734 left to go in this game. Rubio with a nice return for the Wildcats. Bryce Burnett in at quarterback for the Wildcats. Jace Hostetter in right, ta right tackle. 42 yards to go for the Wildcats. Burnett and keeps it to the left-hand side. He's got some running room. We do have a flag. Burnett on the outside. Cuts it upfield. Burnett going to be brought down inside the five-yard line. Coach, that might be against the defense. If it was a dead ball, they would have blown the whistle yeah. and, and killed the play. Line judge in front of us threw the flag, but that may be against uh, Jordanton, and yeah, it, is. it is. Offsides against the Indians. So quarterback number five, Bryce Burnett, takes it down to the two-yard line, a 40-yard run for the uh, junior quarterback number five. Called his own number, quarterback 49. Almost got into the end zone. He reached, reached, he just didn't have a good grip on the ball. He might have gotten inside that pylon. Look at the ball went towards the goal line marker. Clock rolling. 7.05 left to go in the game. Wildcats inside the five yard line. They're going to spot it at the two. Overload the right side. Height goes in motion to the left. Z back. Whistles from the referee. So, what is that? Can't be delayed. Uh, is that a false start? Well, I guess it is a delay again. Clock was at zero. Somebody moved. Uh, 
wind the clock, but it will be a five yard penalty. The play clock when we looked up was at zero. They will now have first down and goal from the seven yard line. Right formation, motion, left. Chase Height, motions across the line of scrimmage. Mm. Carpinello on the carry, tries to go on the left side. He's brought down by number 53. That's Chris Verdin for the Indians. He's got to follow that halfback a little better than that. Looks like he's trying to look for an opening. Just hit the hole and get as much as he can. Burnett comes back in from the sideline with the play. Isai Sanchez in the backfield. Six minutes remaining in this game. Wildcats will improve to 2-0 in the season. Now we have movement from uh, Jordanton. Came across and made contact with the linemen, so that'll be five yards given back to the Wildcats. So there's a five that we lost earlier. Just outside the two-yard line, they're going to spot it at the three. Carpinello in the backfield. Along with number 40, Isaiah Sanchez. Left motion. Toss sweep. Coming to the right side. Not much room there for the uh, running back, Isaiah Sanchez, the uh, junior running back. Short. Maybe lose a yard on the play. It's going to bring up third down and goal for the Wildcats. <laughs> See if they call Burnett's number again. Quarterback to the left side. Sanchez, Carpinello in the backfield. Height, lined up tight on the left-hand side. Bur Burnett will keep it on the left side. Burnett will keep it. You called it, coach. Walk the dog. Burnett takes it in from four yards out for the touchdown. His first touchdown of the season for the uh, junior quarterback, Bryce Burnett. Four minutes and 46 seconds. And Bryce Burnett. Accounted for all 42 yards of that drive, capped off by the four yard touchdown run. I guess that's what I would have called. <laughs> Point after coming up. Salinas will hold, snap on the way. King with a kick. This one through the uprights. It's good. Four minutes and 46 seconds remaining in the game. Cal Allen, 55, Jordanton, 20. We'll be back on 1400 KUNO. Delicious 50-cent corn dog from Sonic, America's Drive-In. Oh, I can't wait to devour this thing. Eduardo, Eduardo, isn't this the best corn dog you've ever looked at in your life? I think so, too. Mm, man, this looks <clears throat> delish. G g give me the dog. What, 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 why? Like, give me the dog. <laughs> I'm sorry, Eduardo. You can't have to no. come with me. I want that dog. No. Yes. Give me no. the dog. It's, it's no. mine. Give me the. It's give me mine. The dog. I bought it. I bought it legally. No. Give, give, give me the dog. No. 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 My dog. No. Sonic. This is how you Sonic. Number 14, Aiden Culver will tee it up at the 40 yard line, kicking left to right. On your radio dial, if you're at home, on your screen. Looks to his left, now to his right. Approaching, high end over end kick. This one will be taken at the 21 yard line. I believe that's number 11, Salinas. He's had a busy night in the return game and he's gonna be brought down at the 37 yard line. Four forty-one left to go in this game. Coach, it's been a, a different look tonight as we talked about. We've seen the passing game. We've seen some of the young players get some playing time tonight. Talk about the young 
young guys are getting a lot of playing time tonight. Almost the uh, whole second half. Shushart, shotgun formation, looks over to his right. He's got four wide receivers. Ball resting on the 37-yard uh, line. The uh, running back, Latimer, trying to go up the middle. And again, just met by a host of Wildcats. King, Grant, number four is uh, Cody Newell. Stacking up that line of scrimmage. Again, got to give credit to that front line, allowing them uh, linebackers to come up and fill them gaps. But the front line's been busy. We've seen them in the backfield all night. Grant Taylor, David Lowe, doing a good job tonight. Jaden Rodriguez, Ernest Tenahosa. Sean Wolf at outside linebacker. All doing a great job for this Wildcat defense. Clock rolling, 347. Second down at 10. Hand off to the uh, running back, Latimer. Cuts it back up the middle. Latimer will pick up about six yards on the play. We'll call it third down and four. I'd like to remind everybody, all home games throughout the season will be streamed on Cal Allen TV. All you got to do is go to YouTube. Hit the uh, little search bar, type in Cal Allen TV, and you'll be able to watch the game from the luxury of your own home. I'm seeing number eight, Luke Tapp out there. Four wide receivers, play clock down to seven seconds. Shushart calls for the snap, hands it off to Latima. Trying to go on the right side, Latima hit, ball comes out. And that's number three coming up and making the hit, Brody Rogers. Lerma does some tough, 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 tough running by Lerma right there. Exactly right. Spun out of grasp of two different defenders. <coughs> and like to uh, welcome our viewers, listeners, wherever you're at. Brian, class of 2005 in South Korea. Ann Rogers over in Waco. Chris Guerrero in Victoria. Wes Danaher watching in from Houston. Fans all over the state, all over the globe. Thanks for tuning in on a Friday night. Taking time out of your Friday night to spend with us. Shushark rolling to his right. Pressure. Shushark hit. Coming up is number 34, Sean Wolf, closing in on a hurry to make that tackle. Defense does a great job, and the clock will continue to roll, Coach. So even on the change of possession, they're letting this clock roll. I think it is a 10 o'clock rule <laughs> allows the clock to roll. <laughs> 10 o'clock on a Friday night, approaching the one-minute mark. Next week, the Wildcats will host Los Fresnos. The Falcons. 7.30 kickoff, 7.15 the pregame show. Tell your friends and family. Tune us in right here on Vic Cal Allen TV. Victory Formation. Cats Eye Radio, along with 1,400 KUNO. Bryce Burnett nails it. You're right. The Victory Go Formation with 51 seconds. Always a good sight to see. Your players were able to get some rest tonight. They got some good work. Epi Hinojosa, you know, Terry Kickman did a great job tonight for this Wildcat offense. They were able to get the second half pretty much off for the night. Rest up. We'll need them throughout the season. Those two young men look really good tonight. They ran the ball hard. Hickman was able to buy some time on a couple of plays. It broke down and extended the play. Was able to pick up some positive yards and was able to locate his receivers downfield. So just a very positive night for these Wildcats. 17 seconds left to go in the game. The final will be 55 to 20. Cal Allen will improve to 2 and 0 as both teams come to the middle of the field. They'll shake hands, congratulate each other. We'll be back with the post-game show. We'll give you the final stats from Phil Danaher Field. The final: Cal Allen 55, Jurgenton 20. We'll be back on 1400 KUNO. 
the 53, Nolan's Restaurant has been Corpus Christi's favorite place for lunch. Delicious food at great prices. What better place to have lunch than the local restaurant that's been voted number one? Best of the best chicken fried steak. Best of the best barbecue. Best of the best catfish. Best of the best sandwiches. And the best of the best lunch. And try our fried Texas Gulf shrimp. So next time you're hungry, stop by Nolan's Restaurant at our new location in the Parkdale Plaza Shopping Center or one of our other convenient restaurants at Staples in Yorktown or in Cal Allen. Nolan's Restaurant, the place for lunch. 1953, Nolan's Restaurant has been Corpus Christi's favorite place. Okay, that's the end of our live stream, guys. Thanks for joining us. I uh, do want to give a shout out to those people that are around the globe watching us. Thank you for your service in uh, Korea. That's uh, Brian Perez. Awesome. We had one in New Zealand, Connecticut, Rhode Island. Uh, so uh, thanks for watching. Sorry for some of those technical difficulties uh, when we got cut off, but we got it back on and going. Uh, thanks for those that uh, liked watching the band at halftime. We, we want to show everything here in a positive way. Uh, we will be live streaming next week here at Phil Danaher Field. So uh, it will be homecoming. And we'll try to live stream all of our home games. And if our away games are not live streaming, then uh, we'll go ahead and live stream those. But currently we're restricted to just uh, live streaming our home games. So uh, thanks again. And we are signing out with the Wildcats beating the Jordanton Indians 55-20 to as we extend our uh, record to 2-0 on the season. <laughs>